Countdown is on. All right, y'all, we are back. The world famous top five. Back to piss y'all off. We going viral. And today we are doing the top five basketball movies in honor of a great movie that uh, is coming out, directed by yours truly, starring myself, Chris Brown, Birdman, DC Young Fly, so many amazing women basketball players, she ball, in theaters, stream it, all of that, get it right now. So we're going to kick this thing off the right way. Number five, we're going to go with Above the Rim, ladies and gentlemen. Off top, Tupac was in that joint. Shouts out to Dwayne Martin, who uh, uh, was rumored to be uh, once a New York Nick or possibly he had a walk-on or something like that. But he was hooping in there. Leon was hooping. Amazing flick right there. Top five hoop movie. Number four, we're going to go ahead and give it to Space Jam one time. One with LeBron or the one with Jordan. It's the same movie. All right. Bugs Bunny was in that mother. All right. So we just going to go Space Jam. Either one. New or old. New Legacy. The one with Jordan. Y'all can decide which Space Jam is better. That'll be a side bet right there. Which Space Jam was better. All right. Number three. We're going to go with Love and Basketball. Three. Some people saying three is is. All right. Well. Love and Basketball is number three. This is one that's going to be crazy debated. I know y'all going to be going crazy online. Did I leave anything out? We got some honorable mentions. I'm going to just give you some honorable mentions off top. Hoosiers. People love that, but it's old as so We don't give a uh, People love Blue Chips because Shaq was in it. Uh, but Shaq was in it a bunch of crap. Like Mike. Like Mike is a, a great honorable mention. Joanna Man. Some people love Joanna Man. Some people love Coach Carter. Some people love Sunset Park. But if we're going to go with number two, ladies and gentlemen, we got to go with White Men Can't Jump. Classic joint, Venice basketball, real heat. And number one, I would say it's She Ball because I directed it and it's out right now. And y'all should see it. And it probably will end up taking the number one spot eventually. But I'm not going to do it just like that because that would be too uh, egomaniacal of myself. Be too much arrogance, too much narcissism going on so I'm not gonna go with that I'm gonna go ahead and give it to my favorite director of all time one of the best actors to ever do it as well Denzel Washington he got game ladies and gentlemen directed by Spike Lee number one basketball movie of all time am I wrong I hear the peanut gallery is already throwing stuff at me so what kiss my those are the top five basketball movies. Did I get it right? Join in on the conversation. Hashtag Nick Cannon Radio. Hashtag top five. At me on Twitter. Let's talk about it, y'all. We out. It's incredible.